So there's a way the scripture talks to us about attaining the things that God has put in our heart. When I was, when I was six years old, I heard my dad preach. There was probably 7,000, uh, almost all teenagers. It was during what was called the Jesus Movement in the United States. And, and these were long-haired hippies and gang members and drug addicts, and they filled this arena. And he preached, and at the end of it, he gave an invitation to come to Christ and, and get rid of all your foolish, old, evil ways. And, and people were throwing, like, marijuana and bags of heroin and needles and even guns onto the stage. And they were crying, and they were, like, crying out, I want my life to change. And at six years old, I remember, I'll never forget seeing that and said, that's how I want to spend my life, not on drugs and gangs, and, but, but, but seeing the power of the Holy Spirit to transform lives, to see, to see him break chains, to break people's hearts free from those things that keep them from attaining that. So you see, because when you're living that kind of lifestyle, you're not happy, you're not joyful, you're not married contently, you're having marriage problems, you're having trouble with the law. And so I, I said to myself, man, I just as little as I could understand it at that age, I realized Jesus can set people free. And, and I, I want to spend my life helping people. Now, you may not be on drugs. You may not be in a gang. You may not be an alcoholic. You may not be a heroin addict. But there are things that are hindering us from living it fully. 